My professor, this question says, if someone should kill a Christian, can the family of Christians retaliate? Thank you, sir. This is a very powerful question. If someone should kill a Christian, should the family of the Christian retaliate? Friends, I'm in Northern region. Everybody, all my members don't give ear. Everybody has given their ear. I can show my children on the Zoom. They, they have come close. Let's know what he's going to answer. <laughs> Amen. Let's see what Rita Bai is going to answer. Amen. Rita Bai has nothing to answer you, but God has everything to answer you. I am in Northern region. We know what we are passing through here. I will answer this question with Bible quotation. Let's read Genesis 9 from verse 6. Genesis 9 from verse 6. Genesis 9 from verse 6. It says, Whoever shed man's blood, by man his blood shall be shed. For in the image of God he made man. Whoever shed the blood of a man, that man that shed that blood, his own blood also should be shed. This is one thing our half brothers are taking advantage of us. And we, so many Christians, sorry for using this very word, that are bankrupt of the scripture, we say, Forgive God, we fight our fight. We are the temple of the living God. God is in living, God is living in us. You are his hand. Somebody will tell you, do not fight. And somebody will say, Rita, by this thing you are saying is Old Testament. Who made God word old? Who made God word new? Okay, let's go to Revelation 13 from verse 10. If you say it's Old Testament. Let's go to Revelation 13 from verse 10. Revelation 13 from verse 10. Let's see what that place said. Whether it's the old or whether it's still new. He said, he who leads into captivity shall go into captivity. He who kills with a sword must be killed with a sword. Here is the what? Patience and the faith of the saints. Hallelujah. One, anybody will kill you as a Christian. Killer. You get me? I'm not a hypocrite. I'm a Christian. I'm not the stupid type. Uh, I'm not the stupid type. If you should understand, Jesus never told Peter to throw his sword. In the book of Matthew 26, from verse 51 to 52, if he has told Peter to throw his sword, then I will throw my own sword. He said, and suddenly, one of those who were with Jesus stretched out his hand. How will Jesus, an immortal, never knew that, that Judas was with sword? He knew. Because he's omnipotent. He knows the end before the beginning. He stretched out his hand and drew his sword and strike the servant of the high priest and cut off his ears. 52. Look at what Jesus said. Jesus could have said, Jude, uh, Peter, throw it away. Jesus said, say to him, put your sword in its place. You don't need it now. When you are needing that sword is coming. Put it in this. Put it. Judas, put it in the right place. Put that sword. Put that sword. I am putting my sword in the right place. He told them in the book of Luke 22, from verse 35 to 36. He told them, when he sent them, did he give them money? They said no. He said, but now, they should go and get money and buy what? Let's read. He said, and he said to them, when I send you without money back, knapsack and sandal, did you lack anything? So they said nothing. 36. Why, why did he tell them this? He said, then he said to them, but now, he who has a money bag, let him take it. And likewise a knapsack. And he who has no sword, let him sell his garment and buy one. The errand we are is the errand of war. The children of Israelite, all the land they possessed, they did not pray for it to come. They fought for it. They fought for it to come. Read about you think all these things happening in Plato, possessing all the land is like that? Well, everybody know my eye. If I keep eye of silence, they could have possessed everything here. Well, you want this and I keep them down. Me and you will change them. 
After we change, I'll tell you, praise the Lord. Say hallelujah. We move out again. Please stop hypocrites. I don't do hypocrites. Amen. I don't look for anyone trouble. I don't look for trouble. I'm not a fighter. But you come to fight, then we know what to do. Even Jesus, when he went to the temple, he could have been preaching, praise the Lord. He looked for whip. Look for whip with double mouth and whip all of them out from the temple. He could have told them, I am the son of God. All of you should stop praying, gambling here. It is not right. They won't listen to him. But he whip, flock every idiot out of the temple. And everybody look for him way. So, there are two types of deliverance. There are prayer through the mouth and there are prayer through the hand. So, any devil that refuses to go, the thunder of my mouth and my hand will take them out from you. In the name of Jesus Christ. 